Ah, oh, hello, me hearties. Did you do? It's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, 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 of course. Saturday night, nothing gets past me. I thought we'd pop up a little bit later tonight just to say hi, see how you are all doing, how your evening is going, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you, dinky do. Good evening, this is Xbox. Good evening. Lovely to have you with us. There's Pablo and Marley and Shannon joining us. How fantastic. A very, very good evening to you. I hope you're well and that your evening is going according to plan, as they say. And if it's not going according to plan, then come and join Scotty McClue live on TikTok, live streaming just for you to say dinky do and to catch up with everybody. How are you, says Xbox? We're very well, Xbox. I thought we'd just have a wee the late pop-up. Hey, from BC in Canada, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us from BC in Canada. Fantastic stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, lad, says Ethan. Nice hat, says King. I thank you, King. Very much appreciated, dinky do. So there we are. Thought if we pop up a little bit later, then we can get a good bit of chat. Are you in the Royal Artillery, says Siri. Five, Dinky Doo Siri, a soldier in the Royal Artillery. You're amazing, Dinky Doo. How are we? I hope you've had a super Saturday. Very, very good. Can you sing some ABBA? I can, of course, but we'd get hit with a copyright and we don't want that, for goodness sake. Everybody come and join us. Follow and share, of course. What did you have for dinner tonight? Um, it was beautiful fish tonight and perfect. Perfect chips. So there we are. Uh, more likes can attract the viewers. So lots and lots of likes, please, to attract as high a watching as possible. You sound Scottish and posh. Posh? Ooh, first time anybody's ever called me posh. So there we are. No copyright here, says DJ. Ooh, don't you believe it. Uh, last week, it was Super Sunday. And tonight, of course, it's Super Saturday. Why? Because Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you. Good day, good day, says Carveta from Australia. Lovely to have you with us in Australia. So there we are. Bean Boris, go and grow up. Uh, have you been to Dunkeld and Burnham before? I know it like the back of my hand. So there you are. And Balin Luig and Pitlochre and... Uh, where else? So all the places. So there you are. Can you sing Sunny and Share? Well, you start and the rest of us will join in. Have you ever been to Aloha? Aloha! Aloha! Yes, I knew it like the back of my hand. Scotty, you're a legend, says John Cool. Thank you, John. Favourite beach in Scotland? So many. Love the beach in Montrose. That's an absolute belter. Love the beach in air. That's an absolute belter. So there we are. What about the uh, white sands of Calgary on the Isle of Mull and Chilin Mool? It's my birthday, says Lauren. Happy birthday, Lauren. So there we are. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Ha ha, says everybody. Scotty, happy Saturday. Love from the Cross family. Louise, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do to the Cross family, who, of course, are never cross with each other. So there you are. Ah, camera, ha, ooh from Dublin. Um, how big, what have we got here? How big is your house? Mine is a castle, well hidden from the public. Well, good for you, Scottish TikTok. I have a bed sit. I'm sitting on the bed now, and I shall fold that down and have a kip after I've done the stream. So there we go. Fantastic, that. Are you going to run for First Minister this May? Oh, we've got an excellent First Minister. I do think we're needing a First Minister. There's plenty. Uh, can you say hello? Hello, of course I can. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. Oof. <laughs> Who's your favourite ever Prime Minister? My favourite ever Prime Minister. I was actually a big fan of John Major, believe it or not, because he was just... Mr. Normal, and he just got on with it. So I was a big fan of John Major, but my favourite Prime Minister ever, well, of course, there's the pits. Uh, you know, they were the pits, so there you are. So what have we got here? Dinky-doo. Do you watch only fools and horses? 
I do. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, there we are. I'll just sort this one out. Give me a wee second, everybody. Fantastic. <laughs> there we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And that's that. That's wonderful. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons I thought we'd pop up later at night is a lot of the wee dafties, the silly wee middens, have disappeared and we don't get the problem. So there we are, dinky -doo. So, uh, yes, John Major was, uh, was, was a nice guy. Uh, but I'm trying to think, uh, favourite Prime Ministers, Anthony Eden was a very, very deserving man. There was, of course, Winston Churchill, if you're into his particular style. So there we are. Uh, there's somebody asking, have you got any experience with piles? Yes, um, I was once involved in construction making a pier, and we had to drive these piles into the ground before we could start to build the rest of the structure. So it's quite a speciality, and you have what's called a pile driver. So there we are, but it's big, big stuff, you see. It's stuff for everybody without experience. Can everybody share the live video, please? Fantastic. Very much appreciated. Uh, guys, I won't be going live with anybody because we get negative comments from idiots. Um, I'm doing an all-nighter, so there we are. Did you like the Prime Minister, Theresa May? I'd forgotten about her. Yes. Uh, hi from Turkey. We love Turkey. We say hello to the Bosphorus. Can you give my dad a shout-out? He's driving home from Switzerland to Edinburgh, and we love Switzerland. The flag is a big plus, of course. So there we are. Any experience with thrush? No, I wasn't that. The man from Uncle's your man for that. So there you are. My only experience with thrush is they once nested in my garden. So there you are. And beautiful, beautiful creatures they are. So there you are. It would mean a lot, no problem at all. We can always give you a shout out. So there we are. So there's a big shout out to Icy. Fantastic. Hi from Rothsey. Hi, Agnes. Dinky do. We love Rothsey. Hello, Scotty. How are you this evening? So there we are. Dinky do. Have you ever had Stornoway black pudding? Oh, for my breakfast, Dutan. Love it. Beautiful black pudding from Stornoway. Absolutely. From the Osaks up in Stornoway making the black pudding. Wonderful. Yes, just down the road from the Nicholson. Now, I'll just have a sip of water out. There's Ditan and there's Ed. Hello, Scotty, my friend. Hello, Ed. Lovely to have you with us. So dinky do. I'm a friend of Wee Fat Bob. He talks about you often. Isn't that lovely crap? Give him my regards. Say, Scotty's asking for you. Were you a bad boy in school? No, I was a very, very good boy in school, but I did get uh, the belt for talking and laughing. And as you can see, it's cured me. I don't talk and laugh now. Oh, fantastic. You're not drinking tonight, Scotty. Don't drink to talk. So there we are. Just gave all that up about, I don't know, about seven years, seven or eight years ago. Something like that. Forgot how long it is now. But I am drinking two things. I've got the water you've just seen and my lovely, lovely cup of Earl Grey tea from Argyle Pottery. Can we all see that? It's outstanding piece of pottery work. So there we are. Ooh. Have you ever sniffed any lines? Well, what I have done, I've filled in a few lines. We used to get them in school if we were naughty. So there you go. Hello, Captain Scotty, Officer John Paul Walter from Los Angeles Police Department, USA. We salute you, sir. Thank you for everything you do for law enforcement in Los Angeles, are you British? Well, British just means there's no such country as Britain. It just means that you're uh, living on a landmass called Britain. But your countries would be Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. I'm from Govan Hill, says Amer. What a fine place to come from, Amer. We say hi to everybody in Govan Hill. So there we are. Um, have you ever smoked a joint, Scotty? Um, I've, what we've done is we usually actually put it in the oven. 
So there we are. But obviously, if the heat's too high, it can smoke. So do be careful about that. Um, but what we did, we once had a leak under the sink of water in an old pipe, and we had to wipe a joint. So there you are. So that's quite a skill as well. There we are. And my friend who's in the police once had to case a joint. So there's another thing, you see, absolutely interesting. And in school, we had to make a joint with a mortis and tenon, a wonderful piece of joinery. So there's all these different things, you see, fantastic. And my colleague said, Scotty, what's your hat? called my hat is just a gentleman's flat cap so there we are hello how are we doing um dinky do lovely to have you with us There's chris joining us and george welcome 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 you're watching scotty McClure live so there we are and uh, everybody's following us fantastic Fantastic, dinky do. So there we are. Um, I won't take uh, any dueling tonight because one one person made a derogatory comment to me. So I won't bother with the dueling. What pubs do you recommend in your area? Oh, I don't know. I I don't go to pubs, you see. So uh, it's it's very difficult to know what's best. Absolutely. There we are. Who have we got here? Dinky do. Hi, Morgan. Lovely to have you with us. I won't go uh, live with you because obviously we are extremely busy. And um, hello from the Hebrides, Varich Moore. Uh, we only smoke fish here. Absolutely. And that's always fine. As long as you don't inhale, I say. Uh, so there we are. What's a pub? Ah, good one, George. You may have been born when pubs were locked down. Are you a lawyer? Well, what was it you were looking for? Was it a bit of advice, Amir? Because I'm sure we could manage. Has everybody followed us, guys? Where's a nice place to stay in Scotland if I ever come to your lovely country? TikTok phase. You would go really a long, long way to beat the Western Isles. So there we go. <coughs> now, who have we got here? There's all righty and with fabulous and Matty have just joined us. Welcome, guys. Follow me, please. Follow, follow, follow. And can I draw your attention to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? I suggest you get onto that. So there we are. Uh, are you a parking ticket because you've got fine written all over you? Somebody please find me. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye, TikTok face. Good evening from us, Germany and Bavaria. Thank you, do. In ex Deutscher Sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Hello, love from Singapore again. Love from Singapore. Yo. I can say yo. Uh, fantastic. Can I be a mod? I'm very good at being a mod. Well, we've had some mods and we've had a few rockers on here as well. Which football team do you support? So many, so many. It would be a long, long list. Your YouTube channel is very extensive and well recommended. I mean, thank you. Guys, if you just put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E YouTube channel, it will come up in your results. Hey, from Germany, from Bavaria. Yes, from the Bavarian Motorwerken BMW. Four days in a row. <laughs> Joining you. Not sure if you remember. Yo, how could I possibly forget? You're a star on here. Everybody knows yo. It's tremendous. I'm loving your TikTok lives, says Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. I am loving doing them for the people, especially during lockdown when they can't get a chat with anybody. They come on here and have a chat. Was there many gangs in your day? Yes, we used to gang here and we used to gang there, particularly in the Northeast. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. Scotty McClue YouTube channel. I'm sure, guys, can you follow me, please? Seriously, because we're very, very, very short on followers. We've been doing this a fortnight, and I think we've got about 4,000 followers. So please, 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 I beg of you, 
do the decent thing, follow at Scotty McClure. That's the stuff now. Well, who's asking about the YouTube channel? There we go, guys. Search Scotty McClure YouTube channel. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClure 1. 1,200 videos for your enjoyment, edification, excitement, education, and delight. A great day in for all the family. Subscribe, watch, and share. Dinky do. And somebody actually told me yesterday, I think it was, that if you were to watch everything on YouTube channel, it would take you 1,000 years. So my advice is let's get started. You know what I mean? See how far we get. BMWs is saver, yes. Bavarian Motorwerken. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, somebody stole your Vauxhall Viva. Oh, my goodness me. They were actually quite nice wee cars. Everybody's a bit harsh on them. So there we are. So get on the YouTube channel. Absolutely. Say a joke, says you. Yo, I don't really know any jokes, to be quite honest with you. So there we are. And um, I went into the doctors and I said, <clears throat> I'm finding difficulty walking with my right leg. It's a bit stiff. And he said, gout. I said, but I've just got in. <laughs> Hi, Scotty, Officer John Paul Walter from Los Angeles, please. I work in SWAT. Fantastic stuff. Thank you very much. I think it'll be to do with the heat. Sometimes I SWAT a bit as well under the bonnet. So there we are. Have you done the census? Well, I filled up my census. Um, you make my days better with the stuff. I'm going tough with the eggs, so thank you. Jordan, all will work out well for you. The X will need to learn to operate with the same charm as you. There we go. So chill, chill. All these things sort out. I know sometimes a relationship can seem like a bit of a life sentence. Uh, have you got, yes, we've got the YouTube channel, Thomas Maggie. You get onto Scotty McLeod's YouTube channel. And can everybody subscribe? What's the most upper class thing you do? Oh, my goodness me. I always use a butter knife even when dining alone. So that's uh, that's quite stylish, isn't it? That's the definition of a gentleman, really. Uh, so fantastic stuff. There we go. Scotty, how many people watch these live streams? Well, you'll see the little figures will vary. They go between, say, 25 and 100. But at the end of it... Um, I'll tell you how many people have watched. About 200,000 have watched so far since we started doing them. So that's not bad. If you imagine if you had a wee shop and 200,000 came in on the one day, could you serve them? You know, imagine if you were a priest or a vicar or a minister and 200,000 turned up at mass or divine service. You'd be absolutely beside yourself with joy. So I'm quite happy, but we do need the followers. You know what I mean? That's the things. Follow, follow, follow. Custard cream or bourbon? Very, very, very harsh question. You know? Um, yes, very harsh puzzle and very important. You see, the problem is, keep this to yourself, but I tend to like both. You know? I like a bourbon. And I like a custard cream. And that's my that's my difficulty. You know, and I think it's something on top of everything that's happening with the pandemic. You know, we do worry, don't we? Fantastic stuff. What university did you go to? The finest university in the world. Glasgow University. So there we are. What's your thoughts on the Dublin tragedy? Well, of course, I was working on a radio station at the time, but my father died the day before, 25 years ago yesterday. Big Archie passed away, and uh, then Dunblane was the day afterwards. So there we are, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful thing. And, of course, uh, the radio station 
were very much involved, as was the television station that I had worked at as well. Maybe I could change the world, I'd create half a custard, uh, but we send out love and we send out blessings and prayers to everybody involved, to those that lost their lives, these tiny little angels um, that lost their lives at uh, the, the, the hands of a, a criminal madman. You know, just dreadful. Uh, so there we are. Uh, should Harry and Meghan be housed in the Tower of London? What for, for goodness sake? Uh, Thomas sent good night. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you to everybody for all your lovely gifts and your diamonds and your coins and your presents and everything. I've put lots and lots of videos up for you to watch, not only on the YouTube channel, but also... Um, I've uh, put them up on TikTok as well. So there's lots for you to look at there. When will the lockdown end? Oh, how long is a piece of string? I dumped my girlfriend because she doesn't like mixed kebab. Now, why not? I wonder which bit of the mix. Is it the chicken or the meat? So there we are. We need, we need to find out. I think we should be told. So there we are. Absolutely. Now, time for another sip of tea. From McClure, I think. Oh, that's lush. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It's fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Scotty, how are you? What type of videos do you do on YouTube? Just fun, Commander. So if you like to just have a look and see what you think, the YouTube channel, Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Get yourself on there. And, of course, it is absolutely dinky-doo. There's something there for everyone, so you will enjoy it. Yo, what's up? I'm drinking hot chocolate, Scotty. Angie, you cannot beat a hot chocolate. It's one I like myself. And what I tend to do, I don't know if I should do this, but I put the hot chocolate in the mug, pour in boiling water, just maybe about, oh, I don't know, an inch of boiling water, top it up with milk, stir it, pop it in the microwave for a minute. Woo! What time do you up in the morning? It depends where I'm going, Scottish Long. So there we are. Very often I'm up around the five o'clock mark. So there we are. I'm still awake at four o'clock last night. So there you are. Fantastic. We were doing different things. I was looking at an app that does radio. But uh, I thought, ah, so there we are. You, what's up, my guy? How are you doing? So there we are. Now, someone, you've got really a not very good handle. So I think maybe it doesn't belong on here. Sorry about that, but bye. <laughs> so there we are, guys. If you're coming on, remember to have an appropriate handle. So there we are. That's very important as well. Because uh, we don't want to offend anybody. Uh, are you too old to go into politics? I don't think. I don't think there's an age limit. No, in fact, I get invited on a regular basis to become a Mike Papa, an MP. So I don't think so. But I'm not sure it's my thing. Do you think I'd make a good politician? Is this what you're asking me? So there we are. <laughs> so there, you're so fit. I'm coming round. <laughs> Hello, good sir. How are we doing? Real? Nice to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Yes, it's epic, says Angie. Uh, you've got a mean beard there, bro. Well, that's it all trimmed down. I was quite the Santa Claus at Christmas, I can tell you. Can we go for a chips and cheese after lockdown? I'm out. Chips and cheese. You can't beat it. So there we are. What about chips and curry sauce? Have you ever had that? Have you ever had chips on a butty, a roll, a rowy, a softy in Aberdeen? There we are. Has anybody followed us, guys? Do you dye your beard? Yes. I use a dye called Silver Fox. My beard is very, very dark. I'm very dark haired. You see, and I use, you can see, it's creeping in at the sides there. And uh, I use a dye called Silver Fox because it makes me look a little bit older and a little bit more distinguished. You know, it's that sort of thing. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. Has, has nobody offered you Piers Morgan's job? Skin Bob, do you think I'd be good at that? Welcoming the public in the morning. Well, the Scotty McClue morning show was huge. The audience was through the roof. 
Have you ever done a roll and a pie? No, now that's a little luxury I've denied myself up until now. But I have heard of it. I didn't believe it at first until I said, I think I was helping out on a construction site uh, as a student and they were all going, oh, I pie and a roll's very good. Ha! <laughs> I just love all that. I do. Guys, thank you for all your lovely gifts, your diamonds and all that stuff. Look, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. We're live on TikTok. Dinky do. Follow, like, share, enjoy all the videos. And of course, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up on TikTok just for you, Dinky do. Wonderful stuff. Yes, uh, a roll and a pie is a delicacy. Yes, I think it's the kind of thing you might get served at a Scottish royal banquet, you know? And everyone coming around, a roll and pie for you, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Mmm, here's the Queen coming now. Have you ever been to Nairn? Nairn is the fastest town in Scotland. Nairn. You know, if you're coming from the Aberdeen side, from Elgin, and into Nairn, on your way to Inverness and put it down across, then uh, what you might do is, tell me if I'm right, you come down the hill, <coughs> you stop at the lights at the junction, if they're at red, and you can go up to the left, you then go swinging round the big bend, up through the town, yes, out past the big kirk, and out the main road there. Am I right or am I right? Oh, and you'd cross the river as well. So there we are. I'll bet the Queen loves a roll and a pie as well. I don't know. It's not something I've absolutely asked her. Is it true you have a net worth of one million pounds? Uh, not on me, D10. So there we are. <laughs> Favourite city in the UK? Very difficult because I'm fond of every city in the UK. I think I've probably been in them all now. I do love Glasgow, of course. I do love Edinburgh. I do love the city of Perth, the fair city. I do love Aberdeen. I do love Dunkeld. I do love um, Dundee. I do love, oh, it's so Difficult, all these wonderful places. I do love Newcastle. I do love Carlisle. I lived in all these places. I do love Preston. I do love York. I do love Leeds, Hull, Manchester, Liverpool. Love Liverpool. Ah, oh, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. So to say, it's all too beautiful. Liverpool's the best city. We love the bones of your all in Liverpool. If you're washing in Liverpool right now, you're washing Scotty McClue. Okay? Right, don't forget it now. That's it. Ferry cross the Mersey. There we are. Lovely stuff. And of course, I'm very, very well known in Liverpool. Scotty McClue used to broadcast to Liverpool every night. What do you think of Alva? Oh, I love the tune, The Hills of Alva. He the many. <laughs> are you a communist well i do like to commune with people but where that makes me an ist i don't know ist it's what somebody says don't they when they want your attention up ist ist i wonder if that's short for communist so they were am i a communist what what would you say a communist how would you know if you're a communist, what, what would define a communist, right? Tell me about that. That would be good. What's the answers to the two truths and a lie, Scotty? Oh, Angie. Yes, we meant to give everybody the answers. Guys, the other night we did two truths and a lie, and we haven't yet given out the answers. Would you like the um, options? Tell me if you'd like the options, and we should get the answers tonight, Angie. My dad's from Aberdeen. That column, that's a lovely, lovely thing to know. Your father from Aberdeen, an Aberdonian. 
Preston is the best city, says the commander. We salute you, commander, in Preston, the Paschal Lamb, Priest Town. I loved it. Was it St. Walderburgers, the beautiful big church? So there we are. York is lovely. York is most definitely lovely. We love York. There is no doubt about that. Uh, York's a gem of a city. Were you on Hallam FM back in the 90s? I was on Hallam FM and loved every second of it. I would love to have stayed at Hallam FM a lot longer, but I got the call to go to Manchester. And when uh, when you get the call, you have to go. Uh, so there we go. Davy Boy, be very, very careful what you say about people. So there we are. Fantastic. Right, that's it. Davy Boy's had to go. Uh, yes, I do, IDK. Very much so. Very much so. Dinky do, Scotty, says Harry. Hello, Harry. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Fantastic stuff. Now then. Um, do be careful, guys, what you see on here. Make sure that everything is well above and beyond propriety. That's the story of Scotty McClure. There you are. Uh, fantastic. Dinky do, Scotty, says Harry. Uh, so there we are. Dinky do to Straven Crew. Fraser, everybody in Straven. Do you know Lodder Hall? There we are. Fantastic. It's all too beautiful, says the pronoun pattern is chronic. I wouldn't bother with that sort of question. Nobody should ever, ever, ever ask anybody that. Do you know what I mean? Celtic or Rangers, says IDK. What you'd be best to do, the advice I've been giving on that, IDK, is that you go and see both teams play, then make up your mind who you're going to follow. And remember, it's not cast in stone. You could follow Celtic one week and Rangers the next. So there we are. Hi, any tips for going back to school? Just be very, very careful and follow all the rules and the instructions. So there we are. Dinky doo. Who have we got here? Hi, Scotty. Are you having a weed dram? Uh, oh, no, another Scotty, sorry, is having a wee dram. We like that. How fantastic is that dinky do? There we are, Natasha. Thank you for following. Guys, can we all follow Scotty McClure, please? It's so important. And get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and subscribe. That's not difficult. Follow me at Scotty McClure. <laughs> tell 10 to tell 10. Wonderful stuff. What does dinky do mean? Dinky do means is all well with you and the world. It's a nice thing to say. Thank you, do. Everybody should say it. Scotty boy, not heard you for years. Funny guy. So there we are. Sweet. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, do. Excellent stuff. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you for following. Very much appreciated. Guy always follow, likes. I've put loads and loads of videos up for you. There's 1,200 videos I mean, there should be like a million subscribers by now to Scotty McClure. What part of Scotland are you from? Um, I'm from all of it, really. You know, can I have a dinky do, says Jack. Of course you can, Jack. Absolutely not a problem. Lovely, lovely to have you all with us, guys. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. There we are. Can't say further than that unless you can't pronounce your F's or your THs. So there we go. Everybody's following. Thanks very much for following. Uh, Token says RIP John Morgan Nee Miles. Absolutely Token. A top man. Great friend of mine from uh, the early 1980s. Amazing. So uh, Big John and I go back about 36 years. Scotty, there's uh, no videos on your YouTube, or is it my YouTube's not working? Your YouTube's not working, Commander, because on my YouTube, right, can everybody check out Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and see they can see all the videos? Please, everybody, do that now and let me know. Yes, because I can't, because I'm talking to you, I can't go and check just now. You know what I mean? So please check Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, subscribe, and see that you can see all the videos. There should be 1,200 of them. 
So there we go. And you will get a smile. Some of you might even be weak with mirth and laughter. Do you think Edinburgh deserves to be the capital of Scotland? It's a very beautiful city. Although I think Glasgow maybe should take a turn. You see, they used to move the capital of Scotland around, like uh, Dunfermline. And of course, Schoon at one point. R.I.P. Murray Walker, another broadcasting legend. I saw that dear Murray had gone. What a great voice that was. There we are. Formula One there. Oh, into the outside. <laughs> Dunbarton. Well, there's Dunbarton Shire and Dumbarton. So D-U-N and D-U-M. Very, very. And Dumbarton was a massive shipbuilding town. Massive. Shipyards all along the front there at Dumbarton. In fact, am I not right in thinking that the clipper, the Cutty Sark, was built in Dumbarton. Yes, I just checked. Yeah, your videos are on YouTube, Scotty. Thanks, Angie. Is there stacks and stacks of them? There should be. Fantastic. If you just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure live Saturday night. Nothing gets past me, you'll see. <laughs> yes, I just checked. They're on YouTube. How long have we been on, guys? Did anybody take note of when we started? Oh, <clears throat> lovely. Um, do you, as a Scotsman, think the Loch Ness Monster exists? Say, oh, I would think so, yes. There's bound to be something. No Scot would tell you a whopper. There you are. Um, you know, not to that extent. Um, I wouldn't think. And, of course, there's Neptune's Staircase on the Caledonian Canal. There we are. Yeah, there's loads. Thanks, Angie. You're a top, top lady. Very much appreciated. Have you ever thought of becoming opinionated, Scotty? Do you know, Garth, I did give it a thought, but, you know, I I, I, I don't know if I could ever manage to just give everybody my opinion. I tend to deal more in facts than opinion, as you know. <clears throat> would you like to give a Glasgow kiss? Who would you like to give a Glasgow kiss to? Well, of course, you can't. Glasgow kisses will be banned because of lockdown. So there we are. And I think nowadays it would be regarded as assault. So there you are. I don't think you could stick the heat in anyone and get away with it. <laughs> As a friend of mine used to say, he couldn't stick the heat on a pint. Is that a fact? Who are you looking at, Garth? Who are you talking to? So I just went on and searched your name. There was loads. It's when you click the link on your page. So, Commander, you can actually see them. Yes, that's good. Can I get a hoy? Oh, yeah! Of course you can. Scotty, you're a legend. Says, born to create. Born to create, you are a legend. Best place to drink in Scotland, right here on Scotty McClure's TikTok. I'll have a drink just now. Oh, it's lovely. This is the best place to drink. Hiya, Santa. Good day, mate, says Juan. Juan, good day. Lovely to have you with us from down under. So, um, do you know? Yes, system, we know, but we don't mention people here. Do you like Indian meals? I do. Do you mean do I like to eat in India or do I like to have Indian food? Yes, I do. I love them. So, there we are. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thanks, Liz. There you go. And uh, who we got here? Dale has just joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Folks, if you've just arrived and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClure. And we are live on TikTok. Top fella. Greetings from the clan Douglas, says Ragnar. Ragnar, excellent dinky do. Uh, we should introduce prohibition in Scotland. The country has an unhealthy relationship with booze. It's all too beautiful. I agree with you because I found how easy it was to give up booze. I just decided um, I was doing a calculation at Christmas or New Year. Uh, I think it was Christmas. I was going out for that and I was just checking. Uh, I was just seeing how many hours did you have to... Uh, let how many units leave your system, 
uh, before you would be fit to drive. And then I thought, you know what? Never mind all this calculation, just in case you erred on the wrong side. Give it up altogether. And I did. And that was it. That was the end of that. Yes, Liz, we're not going into that. Thank you. Top, stop, stuff. Lovely to have you on here. Pardon me, of course. Absolutely. Would you like a wee tune on the squeeze box? Do let me know, and I will give you a tune on the squeeze box. Has everybody followed? Do you know a cool fact about Inverness? Yes, Ragnar, I'll give you a cool fact about Inverness. Inverness is where the best English in the world is spoken. All right, there's a cool fact. The best English in the whole of the world is spoken in Inverness. Inverness, everything is pronounced. Fantastic, we love it. Hi mate, you're doing a great job. So there we are, dinky do. Thank you, Jams, absolutely very much appreciated. Yes, indeed. Um, and I do remember, yes, please play the squeeze box. I'll have that signed photo behind you from Century. It's not signed token. If it was signed, the value would go up, you see. <laughs> so there you are. It's also, I do have an unsigned badge. <laughs> look, look, do you like that one? Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo. Can you see it there? Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo. Hello from New Zealand, says Midnight. Midnight Dinky Doo and uh, Great to have you with us from New Zealand. Are you north of South Island? Hello from Blackpool, says Rogers. What's your favourite malt or skin, Bob? I used to be such a connoisseur of fine whiskies. I'm not blowing any trumpets here. This is a fact. That I could tell you what the whisky was, yes, and get it exactly right. And it was a thing that used to be done in pubs when I was in a pub, particularly in one in Yorkshire. And uh, the guy was a whiskey specialist. And I said, I could tell you what these whiskies are without, uh, without you telling me. And he said, right, I'm going to try you. Anyway, all these old Yorkshire farmers got round the table in the pub. <coughs> and one of them goes, what does he think that one tastes like? He says, he's not tasting them. He's smelling them. Because <laughs> I was giving it the nose, and I was going, ah, no, I'll tell you what you're talking there, that's a northeast whiskey. Fantastic, wonderful stuff. I have family in Newton Moore. I know Newton Moore, I go through it every year, twice. <laughs> once on the way, and once on the way back, Newton Moore. And I used to, on television, read the shinty results. And of course, uh, Newton Moore were in there in the Camera Cup, was that right? Can you play the bagpipes? No, Ragnar, I can't. But my father was a great bagpiper. He passed away 25 years ago yesterday, and I popped that up on social media. And that's my father playing the pipes. That's Big Archie at the pipes. Can you see them there? Look at the hands. Fantastic. Bagpipe playing fingers there. There we are. So that's it, you see. So I do come from, and I also come from a long line of bagpipe makers. Ooh, they actually had their names on the chanters. Scotty, what would you tell your 21-year-old self? You're allowed more than one. Would you want, there's J-Dog. Dinky do Scotty says J-Dog. J-Dog, welcome, welcome, welcome. Is it not your Bobo's time? So there we are. Um, my 21-year-old self, Oh, I would say um, do everything you've done, but make one or two adjustments. And don't trust the one person that you trusted who proved to be a very, very, very bad person. So there you are. And took uh, most of my life savings. So there we are. Uh, Scott, can I ask you what you think of fat people? I think they should try and uh, lose weight. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I've always looked after fat people and tried to make them well. Haggis or deep fried Mars bar? Uh, talking not if you're a fat person. Um, so there we are. It's very interesting. I'll tell you, I once went to lose weight. Now, seriously, this is true. And um, I steered clear of all the things that were recommended for losing weight, salad and all that sort of stuff. 
I was a salad dodger. And I had um, a lot of cooked meat, beef, beef burgers, steak, sausage, eggs, and the weight fell off me. I lost two stone. <coughs> Amazing. <laughs> Somebody said, what are you doing? Are you just on shakes and things? Shakes? Shakes? I said, no, no. I said, I'm on sausage, bacon, and egg. <laughs> Fantastic PMSL. How do you say it isn't in the tin in Yorkshire? Tin, tin, tin. It's tin, tin, tin. So there you are. There was an old Yorkshire farmer who had made a lot of money in his life. And he went into a top jewellers in London. He said, I want thee to make me a model of me Jack Russell dog. And he said, oh, yes, what kind of proportion, sir? What size? And, ah, life, life size. Proper Jack Russell-like. He said, right. He said, um, what have you thought about how you'd like him? Do you want him made in uh, like a, a precious metal or something. He said, solid gold, solid gold, life size. I mean, Jack Russell, solid gold. He says, right, right, absolutely. He said, do you want him uh, 18 carat? He said, no, I'll uh, have him chewing a bone. <laughs> there you go, talking. Have you any cool facts about air? Old air. Quam nera tun surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. So there you are. Uh, cool facts about air, the old brig and the new brig. Yes. Uh, what can I tell you about air? Uh, I'll come up with something. Yes, Robert Burns was from air. Well, he was from Alloway. But, uh, you know, Kirk Alloway, of course. Uh, there we are now. Uh, now, this is the content I need. Now, Reagan, I would say, I mean, obviously, we're on a social media platform, but I think that what we are doing right now, yes, we should be doing on national television together, all of us, on the national telly, one hour, Friday night, Saturday night, Scotty McClue. That's all it says on the ratings, Scotty McClue. And we take phone calls, we take texts, we take feedback from everybody here, and uh, we have a look at that, you know? So see what you think about that. Give me some feedback. Would you like me to pitch that to one of the television companies? And we just do this. I mean, it's a, do you see my lovely tulips? My wee dog passed away, and a lovely, lovely neighbor handed in these beautiful tulips yesterday. And I thought, I want the world to see them. It was just such a lovely gesture. So there we are. Wasn't that incredible? So there we are, guys. Uh, now, who have we got? Michael, please grow up and don't say such horrible things. Evening, matey. Camera how? Ah, camera how? Balak more. Uh, Love you for that, says Matt. So there. Uh, love that for you. There we are for me. Yes, no, but I mean, I'm only sort of half the solution. You guys are the other half. Do you see what I mean? There are companies that say they do talk radio. And they've got guys shouting at their audience for an hour or two. News flash, that's not talk radio. Talk radio is shouting at your audience, with your audience, to your audience, along with your audience. That's talk radio. And that's what I did and was rewarded. Yes, yeah, so I'm just about to pop off for some sleep. I thought I'd pop on and say hello. I think you should, J-Dog. Very good of you. But have a lovely sleep. Have a good night, guys. Tell me, bro. Yes, Matt. What can I say? Can I join you live? So there we are. What have we got here? How do I tell my American friend is not Scottish when he's fifth generation American? Well, Ragnar, we're actually, none of us is anything in particular. This is why I think it's so silly when we hear comments about race. Oh, I'm pure this and I'm pure that. There was a guy sounding off about being pure British. So they got him to spit in a wee cup and took it away to a laboratory. 
and examined it, and he was from Colombia and Argentina and all sorts of things. It's wonderful. People are just people. Uh, so there we are. Token, we need to grow up. So there you are. So, you know, fifth generation American, you know, he's he's Scottish if he wants to be. We're all African originally from the African Rift Valley. So there you are, you see. So we're all from Africa. A lesson learned, says Johnny. Thank you for sharing the live, guys, and thank you for following me. Please follow, 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 like all the videos, tap your screen, because I think a TikTok live like this does deserve a big, big audience, you know, and that's what we should be having. Am I Scottish? Yeah, well, I, I, I reside in Scotland at the moment, but I am a child of the universe. So when say, people say, where are you from? I say, I'm from the universe. Yes, I've got a face for radio and also, Captain, a face for television. So that's nice. So I have two faces, <laughs> at least. <laughs> An old lady phoned me on the phone in one night, and I said, no, I'd never said that. She said, I have more faces than town clock. <laughs> hmm. I tell all young men, don't get married without a prenup. So there we are. Yes, yeah, so I'm just wondering what a prenup is. It sounds a bit, you know. What are we? Uh, are we prenup last night? <laughs> Mum's the word I say. Do you wear contact lenses? Uh, no, I don't skin. Uh, so I actually did. I I had contact lenses in 1984. There we are, but I've never seen them again, unless they're still in. Don't try that at home now, folks. That was for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> hey, buddy, how are you? Uh, are you the Queen's husband? No, no. The Queen's husband is far more distinguished than me. So there we are. Uh, so there we are. I hope you're well, sir. So there we are. Um, asking me about down say first class chap. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Drew the wrestler from Air. Good Angie. Good comment there from racing. Air has its own race course. Air has its own teacher training college. All these things, fantastic. Uh, do you have a favourite pipe band? Well, my father was in the Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders in the band. And uh, at the time of Hiroshima, they were uh, sent into Japan. And he went on the radio with them uh, in uh, Tokyo. In Tokyo. There you are. Incredible stuff. But my favorite bands, so many. I mean, Dysart and Dundonald. You used to have all the collieries and the works had bands, so your likes of Muirhead and Sons had bands. Um, Kilsyth Colliery, Danoon Argyll. Then all the regiments had bands, the bands of the Argyll and Southern Highlanders. I've got most of them there, look, on, uh, on CD. Fantastic. My favourite band... Uh, I used to love the competition and the competitiveness between Glasgow City Police and Edinburgh City Police. Glasgow Police and Edinburgh Police, grade one pipe bands. And one of the greatest privileges I've been afforded in life was to become the chieftain of the Bears Den and Mulgai Highland Games. So there we are, wonderful day with all the bands and the full march past. Lovely. And of course, they play the Glendarool Highlanders. There we are. Kamara Ha'u Hachima McTiny. Falchi, Falchi, Kida Mili Falchi. Don't take talk. I guess Scotch McClough. And done. So there we are. Dalmacy, you keep asking me that. What do I think of him? I told you. Terrific guy. You know, there we are. Uh, done a, a tremendous amount for Scotland. So don't ask any more now. Uh, have you thought about doing a podcast? Now, Token, what would be the difference between what we're doing live on TikTok now and our podcast? Because I'll upload this to YouTube, you see, and then you can all hear it. OMG, says uh, not in use. I'm a proud Tory, 
says Isi Belfast. Yes, I don't know what what does a Tory actually mean. What does a where do you stand in politics as a Tory? Does a Tory mean they're a bit above everybody else? Are you a more important person than others? Are you very far to the right? What are you actually proud of? in being a Tory. Do, do qualify it. So there you are. Dalma say, I've told you, I've given you an answer. And see if you if you write it again, you're spamming me and I'll just bin you off for good. So there, we don't want that, do we? Scotty, it's my birthday on Monday. Happy birthday on Monday, Cameron. So there we are. Fantastic. So there we are. Now we'll see if this guy keeps spamming, he'll have to go. So there we go. Who have we got there? Fantastic. Right, yeah, there's a fair bit of spam there, so I think we can probably do without that. Right, there you go, by Spammer. Gone. End of Spammer. Can you see Dinky Doo? What do you think about Meghan and Harry? Well, I wonder what that was all about. What were they hoping to achieve? I wonder by that. Uh, have you ever seen The Invisible Man? Because I haven't. Um, no, but I think I know where he lives. But it's very difficult to catch him either going in or going out. <laughs> That's a of idea. Right, the spammer's gone. You have 4.6k followers. And you follow no one. That's not PC. No, Gary, I'll, I intentionally follow no one. And then um, you can't be accused of following this one and that one and not the other one and not this. Do you see what I mean? It's that sort of idea. Like, I seem to remember that Bob Hope, the comedian and his wife, didn't have a spare bedroom and then nobody was offended if they weren't asked to stay. <laughs> Dinky do, Scotty McClue. Och, no bad yourself, says Barry. So there we are. Who have we got here? Um... Dinky do says D. Wonderful. We love that. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. Uh, my da was in the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders, says Barry. Well, of course, you're a Mackenzie, Barry, so from up there. But the Mackenzie Tartan was also, I think, the HLI Tartan. Check out the HLI and check out the Royal Highland Fusiliers. Royal Highland Fusiliers were an amalgam of uh, the Highland Light Infantry and the Royal Scots Fusiliers. And I think the Seaforths had a Mackenzie Tartan as well. What year were you the chieftain in Bears Den? I've only been once. Skin Bob, I think it was 2007. If you go on to Scotty McClue's website, you'll uh, you'll see all the pictures. Scotty-McClue.com. <laughs> That's all that. Scotty, how old do you think I am? D. I think you are 28. There you are. What's your thoughts on Meghan and Harry? Well, I mean, what, what can you think of that? I put a couple of videos up this week. One of them said that color is not race, you see. I'm always very wary of people playing a race God. And also my advice would be never bite the hand that fed you. Do you see what I mean? Never bite the hand that fed you. Hello, Scotty. It's been a while. Dinky do. Good night, Scotty. Good night. So there we are. <laughs> it's the water in Aberdeen. Fantastic. Tell us a story. So there we are. Their intention was to reveal. Yeah, but Jack, I mean, they're all family. Um, you know, I mean, the Queen and Prince Philip are outstanding public servants, Princess Anne, Prince Charles, Prince Edward. You know, I mean, all these people all their life have given so much to this country and, um, you know, against popular myth have taken virtually nothing. They're self-financing. That's what's very, very interesting. You know, so there's all that. Scotty, you should be the King of Scotland. Do you know that the Declaration of Arbroath was a letter from the Scottish aristocracy to His Holiness the Pope? That's what it was, asking if they could choose their own monarch. 
What about that now? That's what it is. If you could go back 50 years and you knew that technology would one day win, what would you do? Well, D, I would go on it. You see, McClue's always been ahead of his time. I was doing things. I could do remote radio, but the companies insisted that I went into the station. But I could have done more for these companies remotely. I was doing remote radio um, 30 years ago with a box of tricks. And then I got the internet in 1998. And I remember asking all about it, you know, because a friend of mine came round to my flat one night in Glasgow and uh, he said, we're going to night school, you and I. Get your coat. I said, what do you mean going to night school? He said, I've booked two places, a night school class. And uh, off we went to the night school class. And what we're learning, he went computing. Now, in those days, it was the old BBC Commodores and things like that. It was a real solid affair. There was no internet, you know. Well, there was, but, I mean, nobody had that. The internet is really just joining everybody's computer up. So more advanced technology than the internet is actually the airwaves, the the FM airwaves, I would say. Uh, so, so that's the thing. But uh, I think I would have started... Um, live streaming a lot. Early. In fact, I was live streaming from my uh, website about 10 years ago. So McClure's always been advanced ahead of his time. Chap, what's your thoughts on my bio? Haven't seen it yet, Posty. There we are. Can I be a moderator? Everybody wants to moderate. Shout out to my friend, this is Birthday Lexington. You need to maybe grow up and remember who you're talking to. Scotty McClue, 36 years, television, radio, nationally. Do you think I'm going to fall for that kind of rubbish? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So there we are. I've been to Scotland, absolutely. Uh, you're so cute, <laughs> says Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte. Scotty, do you remember me from Hallam FM? I did Late Night Love after show. Mark, of course I do. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. Wonderful. That is great. Top man, Mark. Absolutely, I remember it as well, Late Night Love. Uh, the 6 p.m. curfew for men is nonsense. Uh you could have filled an entire evening on talk radio. Yes, I mean, there's a lot of stuff being said in the heat of very, very, very tragic circumstances. So it would be not proper to debate these things here at the moment, you know. But someday we will discuss all these things. Go on yourself, kids, says Paula, thanks. Did you like Francie and Josie? I loved Francie and Josie. I was brought up with them. And when I found out there were Scotty McClure fans, it was better than a knighthood. And I went to their final show. You'll see it on video. You'll see Scotty McClure sitting in the audience. They put the lights up, and there I am with the bonnet, and uh, along with other top celebs in Scotland. And uh, we went round to see them later. They were both in their 80s. Uh, Ricky sadly wasn't very well, but they were both in their 80s. They'd done a fantastic show. And Jack said to Miss Scotty, Mary and I love your show, son. And see when you finish, we just put it off. <laughs> and the DJ following me was not a great fan of mine because 80,000 people put their radios off after the show. Hello, Aljan. Have you ever been to a place in Scotland called Creel? Oh, sorry, you've been to Creel. Yes, in the East Nuke. Of Fife, beautiful. London Lynx, Instar, Creole. You're a legend, Scotty, a legend. We miss you here in Sheffield. I adored Sheffield, Mark. I wish there was more than one of me. Nobody else does, but I do. And then I could broadcast in all these wonderful places. So there we are, National Radio. Can you tell me an interesting fact, says Hassan. Can you tell me an interesting fact? Yes, I can. The vote that a Catholic couldn't sit on the throne of England was only passed by one vote in Parliament. Interesting. 
Think you do to start away black pudding. Have you ever flown Logan Air? No, but I remember uh, I had a friend that uh, knew Mr. Logan very well. So there you are. I remember that. Yes, Scotty, it's live again. I just came across your live dinky do. Ah, we're just about to go in a couple of minutes, but it's been lovely to uh, have you with us, dinky do. Guys, does something come up when uh, when Scotty McClue goes live? Do you get a notification? Do let me know. So there, do teach, would you teach? Oh, Paula, I would teach, I can tell you. To me, teaching is probably the finest profession in the world. So there we are. Um, were, were you just too old for the Glen Michael Cavalcade? No, all my life. Glen Michael, wonderful, wonderful man. And I think Glen is in his 90s. Uh, and I remember Rudy the dog. Remember Rudy the dog? Please give him a shout out. So there we are, dinky doo. Uh, what's the worst thing that ever happened at your school? They took the milk away. There we are. Just came across your live. Love the vibes. Frank, thank you. Top vibes, la. Top vibes. Dinky doo. Can everybody follow me, please? Share, uh, like. Look at the videos, tap your screen, tap, 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 tap. Just find your live and I love it, says Frank. Thank you, Frank. Have you been to the Edinburgh Fringe? I have, Dee, but I haven't done a show because I do something else at summer and it coincides with the Edinburgh Festival. But I've been invited to do a show in Edinburgh at the Fringe on Mainstream. Would you come to an evening with Scotty McClure in Edinburgh? Tell me if you would. Um, do you like The Simpsons? So there you are. Yes, a chap went into the doctor. The doctor said, what can I do for you? He said, I'm not feeling terribly well, he said. Well, can you tell me what the symptoms are? He went, yes, there's Marge with the blue hair and there's Bart. <laughs> Where did you graduate? In the photo behind you, Glasgow University. Well, it was the dog's graduation, actually, and I just went along to uh, support him. You know, and, and and I thought I would wear the hood in case he trailed it. Can you be my children's grandfather? <laughs> Lovely thing. Yes, Scotty, did you ever meet Christopher Lee or Peter Cushing? Two of my favorite actors, both outstandingly good actors. Sadly, I didn't get to meet them, but wonderful people. I would love to have met them, but of course, very good with the scary stuff. I loved Peter Cushing as uh, Sherlock Holmes. So there we are. Wonderful. And was Peter Cushing not Sherlock Holmes? And now, who was his Dr. Watson? I saw him in something very recently and in the most fascinating history. So there we are. Yes, I saw him with, was it James Stewart? No, it was Cary Grant. I saw him in a Hitchcock. I saw him in a Hitchcock. You've got it, Scotty. Use the technology to your advantage. Oh, absolutely. So there we go. Uh, who have we got here? Do you like Kevin, of course. Fantastic place. There we are. How old are you? Ah, that's a huge question. We don't know because I time travel, you see. So um, I might be very young or I might be very, very old. I might be millions of years old, but uh, the TARDIS, ooh, ooh, uh, I'll have to go soon, actually, and time travel. Margaret Thatcher, the milk snatcher, dinky do the jars, the blues. Oh, don't get the blues just because of the jars. No, 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 not at all. There, although they were very, very naughty last week. So there we are. Uh, would you shout out my account, says Sam. I will, Sam. Do you like the Ackies? We do, George. Yes, you're amazing, says Frank. So there we go. Hey, Scotty, good morning, says Fleur de Lis. Fleur de Lis. We love it. Do you know that Coronation Street was nearly called Florizel Street? I wonder if it would have caught on to the same extent. Guys, follow me, please. Send diamonds. Like the streams. Tell everybody. Tap your screen like mad. 
that sort of idea. Lovely no Scotty McClues on. So there we are. Uh, now, M.W. Jingle, you're a perfect candidate for having to go and grow up. All right. There we are. Definitely, definitely. Dinky do the blue. Scotty, I'm fried as a kite. Fried as a kite. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Now there, you don't have a friend called that. I know that. Uh, it'll make my day, says Amber. You're so cool. Happy birthday to my friend Amber. Happy birthday to me, a time traveler. You look 17. I thank you. There we go. Are you a shapeshifter? Oh, I can throw a few shapes, I'll tell you that. Throw a few dabs as well. Uh, Scotty, I'm, I'm very baked. Well, turn the heating down, dear boy. Are you the guy from Still Game? No. Hey, bestie, says Thomas. What do you make of the eight countries who suspended the vaccine? Uh, because, yes, uh, very, very interesting, but we are being reassured. So there we are, reassured. Absolutely no doubt about that. So there we go. Right, it's time. I'll need to go soon. Uh, do you have pictures of yourself framed? Yes, I was presented with them, you see. I'm a very, very, very big personality. And people present me with things because they want to say thank you for what I've done for them. So there we are. And uh, if you look, what have we got here? Hello, Tom Jones. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Doctor Who and the Daleks. You see, in my day, you could get away from a Dalek really easily. You just went up one step, and that was it. Guys, can everybody follow me, please? Oh, I meant to give you a tune. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box? So there we are. Uh, there's a guy asking a very strange question. Have you smoked grass? I've sat on grass, but I can't think why anyone in the right mind would ever smoke it. Very strange. No, but I've sat on grass and had a picnic. But no, I don't even know where you're coming from. I don't think I know you. So there we are. Uh, did you used to present a chat show in the late 90s, early 2000s? I did. It was me, Scotty McClure, on the radio just for you. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, good morning, Scott here. Good morning, everybody. Dinky do. Oh, now the two truths and a lie. Are we ready for two truths and a lie? Right. Three answers. You tell me what's true and what's not. This is from the other night. So some of you will have had this. Number one. I used to own a shopping center. The whole center on my own. No board, no other directors, no partners. Scotty McClure owned a shopping center. Okay, one. Number two, I conducted one of the world's greatest orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. Number three, I once got into an aircraft and the pilot had to re-trim the aircraft because of my 18 stone of solid muscle, right? You're watching. I can hardly get my arm. There's my hand. Look, I can't even get it round my arm. Solid muscle. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, so there, and the pilot had to retrim the aircraft. So three things. Once again, quick recapitulation, and then we'll tidy it all up. Um, I used to own outright a shopping center. I once conducted a world famous orchestra in front of twenty thousand people at the Manchester Arena. A pilot had to retrim an aircraft when I was in it because of my 18 stone of solid muscle. Right? 
Which one is true? Which one is false? The Frank saying only one is true. The orchestra is false. You're a good piano player, but I don't think you conduct it. So there we are. Two is true. You conducted the orchestra. The second one's true. So there we are. Absolutely. Yes, I know. Absolutely, David. I know. I agree with you. Scotty, it's past my bedtime. Number two is true. Think about it. Pilots would not retrim anything because they are above that. Yeah. And I will, I'll give you the answers before I go tonight. But you need to tell me what you think. While you're thinking that, I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. How's that for a deal? Fair exchange is no robbery. Ah, right, are you ready, guys? <laughs> squeeze box. Can we all see the squeeze box so we know it's genuine? Yeah, the honor blank dot. Very, very nice. There we go. Are we ready for a tune on the squeeze box? Scotty will be watching the rugby tomorrow. Oh, yes. box for you while we were thinking up our answers all right while we're thinking up our answers scotty stop there we are dinky do right here we got right come on come on let's see if we get any answers scotty you're a legend that's the only thing that matters what's your scots clan oh very special you've got to guess so there we go check out the sea fourth highlanders guys do they wear mackenzie tartan so there we go there's jason so what do we think guys all right any ideas on it shall i give you the answers tonight or shall i give you the answers the next time you see there's no, pro there's no problem either way. It's entirely up to you guys. You tell me what would suit you. <laughs> you tell me what would suit you. All right. No problem either way to me, I say. Who have we got here? Legend says, meet the talkers, meet the talkers. Dinky Doo, how are we tonight? There we are, Frank Dinky Doo. Good day, good day, good day. Dee's giving me a round of applause. Thank you. Scotty, you are a legend. So oh, fantastic. <laughs> You're so cool, Sydney. Now, who have we got? I'm a Kennedy. Oh, fantastic. Well, the Kennedys, of course, Ayrshire. Kalian. Yes, yes, absolutely. Castles or Casillas. So there you are. And, um, Yes, you're right down Killian Castle in Ayrshire. That's right. And Maybowl. Oh, that's sort of idea. Scott, it's been a pleasure to watch you through your career. All the best in your new ventures. The Happy Squirrel. There's more to come. This is a very, very big time for Scotty McClue. I'm not even sure myself 
what lies in store, but it's big. And as long as I'm in touch with all of you guys throughout the UK, throughout India, Africa, America, Canada, uh, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Tasmania, Russia, China, Japan, I'm quite happy. There we are, South America, the Tierra del Fuego. What a place that is, Scotty. Scotty, I hope you have a lovely evening. Dinky Doos is Xbox. Dinky Doos. Hello. Hello, Spring Artist. The shopping centre one is the lie, says Angie. The shopping centre one's definitely falsity. How do we think that? You need to tell me. Two is true. The other two are lies, I think. So there we are. Well, I will tell you the Maxwell clan here. Uh, guys, can we all share, please? Can everybody follow me? Can you subscribe to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? When I say subscribe, it's absolutely free. It's a strange word that, that they have, subscribe, but it just means clicking. Follow, really. You're basically following. So there you are. Uh, Billy Atsang, think you do. Have you ever been to the top of Ben Nevis? Stuart, I never went to the top because my Labrador, this is my excuse, my Labrador was getting on at the time. So there you are. So I never actually went to the top. Um, so there we are. Fantastic. Send me a badge, please. Do we like the Scotty McClue badge, guys? There you go. Woo! Scotty McClure says, think you do. Uh, my mum's been to the top of Ben Nevis. Fantastic. How, how high is Ben Nevis? Is it 4,300 feet? I mean, anywhere near it. Is it something like that? There are yasses, meet the talkers. Guys, tell me how high Ben Nevis is, please. I have it in the back of my mind. It's about 4,400 feet, 4,300 feet. Can we get one, Scotty? No, I don't have enough, Jim. But uh, we can. Wow, Spoken 1995, good to see you. Daft, lovely to see you. Thank you very much. What are mod requirements? Oh, there's lots of them. Best Scottish person ever, says Seagal. Seagal, no, there are five million wonderful Scots. Tallest mountain in the UK. I've only met one bad man in my whole life. He took money off me in a business deal. Oh, wow, are you kidding? 4,413. How close was I? Uh, a volunteer, if you need a mod, Frank, thank you for that. So they are wonderful stuff. What do you work as? I work as a TikToker. I live stream on TikTok. Thank you. I'm Scottish, says Jack. Wonderful Jack. We love it. Fantastic stuff. Um, right. So, um, I honestly have not met a bad Scotsman. Well, Happy Squirrel, I've only met one. And as I say, he took money off me in a business deal. So there we are. Um, Dinky do. Yes, absolutely. You're a good man. Thank you. Wonderful. Now then, who have we got here? Wait till we see. Wonderful stuff. Guys, if you're coming on, remember to have a decent name, you know, any dodgy kind of handles, you have to go. So there we are. Hi, from the Highlands, says Erin. Whereabouts in the Highlands are you from, Erin? We'll say dinky do to you from Scotty McClure. <laughs> How fantastic is that? Um, have you ever climbed the Highland Mountains? I've been up the cobbler, if you'll pardon the uh, the phrase. Um, you know, wonderful stuff at Arachar, the cobbler. So there you are. The energy from this guy is dinky do. Oh, my goodness me. How can there be energy when I'm just chatting to you? There we are. Hi, I'm from Wales. Ah, yaki da and nos da. I say dinky do. So, Scott, two truths and a lie. What's the answer? Okay, handles, love it. The CB days. I was Blue Flash. Yes, I was the big Scotty. What am I hitting you with? One nine for a rig check. Over. A Scotty with a Northumberland accent, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with a Northumberland accent. You sound like Aunt and Dick. Do you know Bon Hill? Yes, I do. I do. I remember the Telfers of Bon Hill. Bon Hill Estate. Am I not right in thinking Bon Hill is where the Dumbarton Police Headquarters were? Is that Bon Hill? Or have I got that wrong, Goddy? There we are. But uh, yes, but I knew um, we had a chap who I remember was the Batman to Major Telford Smollett. 
There we are, yes. And then there was General Telfer Smollett, Patrick Telfer Smollett. I remember Patrick Telfer Smollett. So there we are, dinky do. Uh, yes, close. Is, is it close, Gordy? Not too far away, Bon Hill in Dumbartonshire. Fantastic. Uh, where in Scotland? West Coast, John, Glasgow in Scotland. Dinky do. Uh, yes, Dumbarton Police HQ was near. Have you put Bon Hill or is that Bon? Is that bon, bon Hill? Uh, but your pal from Pitlochry sees you now. Art Monty, love to Pitlochry. Up the Tom Nacroy along the oak field. Yes, up to Fishers in Scotland. Out to the Green Park. Uh, Scott McClure TV show has a nice ring to it. Token Fairy, I think it would be huge. I think any company that can't see the potential in Scotty McClure is asleep at the wheel. That's what I would say. So there you are. Dinky-doo, I say. Now then, what have we got here? Um, Defo. Defo says meet the talkers. Absolutely meet the talkers. That's what I think. Anyway, I can tell you that for nothing. Uh, you have a good style. Frank, I thank you. What a nice thing to say. We were just saying earlier, for those that have joined us later, tot, 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 tot. Where have you been? Set your notifications and tap the bells. Uh, so your pal needs to ask you whether you know Houston. I know Houston very, very well indeed. That was another place with a huge mansion, Houston House. Remember that. Are you Welsh? No, but I love the valleys and I, I love the Welsh people and I love the male voice choir and I will play you Callan Lan and the pipe organ. Yes, fantastic. Hello, hello, Scotty. That's a lovely jumpy reading. Yes, I like my blues. I have to say, I like my blues and my greens. Scotty needs uh, uh, to go into the schools. He's a legend. Meet the talkers. Where are you, Fay Biggin? I'm Fay the West of Scotland. I'm actually from the universe. The Welsh are great. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do, I say. Now, uh, the two truths and a lie. Let's uh, finish that one. Uh, are you on universal credit? No, because universal credit, I suppose, should really be all over the world, shouldn't it? Universal. So there we are. Greetings from Lark Hall. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, no, I'm I'm on universal debit. There we are. Um, I don't know the happy squirrel. I couldn't tell you. Love your hat and your beard. Well, they all come off as one. Uh, it's my disguise, you see. <laughs> East Coast Bride here. Dinky do East Coast Bride. Lovely to have you with us. So, uh, no, Gordy, nobody's ever said that to me. Right, we've finally been waiting for the answer. Okay, two truths and a lie. Sensible stuff, guys, right? Because we need to go in a few minutes. Anyway, have I seen Still Game? Of course I have. Shout out for Big Bad John. Are you a Laird? Uh, no, no, but my friend was a Laird. Yes, he was Mr. Laird. So there we are, dinky-doo. Um, a Laird's just a Scottish word for a Lord. I'm the first Lord of the internet. So there we are. Oh, hang on a wee second. Just dealing with this guy here. Very dodgy. Right gone. Okay, end of that. Woo! Uh, so there we are. Now, the two truths and a lie. Question one. I used to own a shopping center, right? Number two. I conducted a world-famous orchestra in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. Number three. I was on board an aircraft and the pilot had to retrim it because of my 18 stone of solid muscle. All right. Which is the truth? Which is the lie? There's only one lie and there's two truths. Sorry, that way. Two truths and a lie. Okay. So let's see what's, uh, what's there. Hi, greetings from Turkey. Hello, we love Turkey. Love to Istanbul and to the Bosphorus. Yes, where the world meets the world. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. I'd love to broadcast in Turkey. So there we are. I'm from Sydney in Australia, says Ibi. 
Abby, lovely to have you with us from Sydney in Australia, New South Wales, in the old country. We very much appreciate you coming and joining us, Cobra. There we are. Absolutely fair dinkum to you, I see. And fair dinky do. Tell me this, Abby, do you think Scotty McClure would go well in Sydney in Australia as a broadcaster? Two truths and a lie, you're killing us, says the happy squirrel. Come on, I'm waiting for some more answers. Then I'll give you the answer, and then I'll go. At half past midnight, I shall go. Okay, so two truths and a lie. Lord Legend, top chap, love you, Scotty. Thank you, guys, appreciate it. So there we go. You could run one, says Frank. I could run run a shopping centre, yes. This is difficult, says the happy squirrel. So three, one is a lie. Yep, absolutely. Electric, you never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. The lie's the plane. Ooh, game changer, says Ed from Edmonton. <laughs> so there we go. Wonderful stuff. What do we think, guys? Yep, any answers? Right, let's have your answers, please, and then we can uh, go through them all, right? One is the lie. One is false. One is false. Glenn Morandri, Glenn Fiddick, two very, very fine whiskies. I don't, um, I'm from the same part of the world as well, of course. But I don't drink alcohol anymore. So there, good day, dinky do. Right, tell me when you're ready for the answers. One more minute, and then I'll give you the answers, okay? <laughs> Two's a lie. You're not a conductor except on the buses. <laughs> <laughs> I am a conductor. I once took off a nylon jumper and all the hairs were standing out on my face. It's like getting a shock. One and two are true. The third is a lie. The one about the aircraft, Starlord. Are you a radio host? I am a man. Yes. A very, very big radio host. So there we go. International, Scotty McClure on the radio just for you. Wonderful stuff. OMG, Scotty. Quality patter. <laughs> Meet the talkers. Grandpa, I found you again. Hey. So there we are. So 4.7, Scotty Bahoy. <laughs> I made you laugh out loud with on the buses. Oh, you made me laugh out loud, la. Tell us a fact about yourself. There we are. <laughs> Tell us a fact about yourself. Did you work at Brewer? I, I did, Anthony, yes. Long before the House of Brewer was there, it was just the Brewer Falls Hotel. So there we are. I used to go up on holidays. The tonic says, meet the talkers. Thank you, meet the talkers. You're very kind. Uh, boozy Susie, very woozy. Yes, have you heard that one? Get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, guys. Can you sing for us, please? I'm depressed. I'll tell you what I'll do. While you're working out two truths and a lie, uh, I'll play you a tune on the organ. How about that? I'll give you a wee tune on the organ. <laughs> so there we are. That's what we'll do. Right. Tune on the organ. Oh, I'll give you a reach in on the organ while we're waiting. Two truths and a lie. See if we can get that right, okay? Fantastic. Right. Are we ready now? Right, we're ready, guys. <laughs>
How about that for you? Did you like that? There's a wee something different to go to bed with, eh? <laughs> you and your other half. Fantastic. Brilliant, Scotty. I thank you. I thank you. Tune, mate. What a tune. Uh, a C-H-O-O-N. Baxter, Cata and Fugue. Ooh, bit busy for this time of night. We'll have the neighbours upstairs knocking on the floor. Fantastic stuff. You've made my day. Dinky-doo. No, no, no. <laughs> Not the scary horror music. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are brilliant. You're so funny. We love it. Fantastic. Now then, are we ready? Hey, bestie, says Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Are we ready for two truths and a lie? Honestly, absolutely brilliant, says Jim <laughs> You don't seem very clever, says Daniel. No, Daniel. No, no, I'm not very clever. My IQ is away down to 164, and I've only got the two degrees, so uh, no, you're quite right. Well, good for you. Well done for pointing that out. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be a smarty pants, you know. You're awesome. You're awesome, Scotty. So there we are. To be fair, this guy was now and is loved by a lot of people. However, he might seem insane who don't know him. Art Monty, you're quite right. Yes, absolutely. It's a very fine line, isn't it? <laughs> Between being a genius and being a There we go. No, no problem at all, guys. Uh, right. Are we ready for the two truths and a lie, the answer? Here we go. Right. What have we got here? Wait a minute. You're a brainiac. <laughs> now, what have we got here? What have we got here? Everybody's wanting to go in for a chat. Sorry, I'm just working away at this while we're, uh, while we're working out what we're doing. Do you remember James Stanley from the radio? Of course I remember James very well, a very fine broadcaster. He used to do way on till 2 o'clock in the morning. He used to have some quite cranky calls between 1 and 2. I can't tell you. So there we are. I'm in the fit of position after the last one. <laughs> are you, are you, are you creased? Number one was false. Right. Here it is, guys. I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to share it with you. Opinions on Harry and Meghan. Well, I won't say anything just now to we've had a bit more of a, a look at what's actually gone on there. One would wonder why they actually did that. You know what I mean? So there we are. Right. Are we ready? The first one. I used to own a shopping center. True or false? The second one, I conducted one of the world's greatest orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. True or false? Number three, I was in an aircraft and the pilot had to retrim the aircraft because of my 18 stone of solid muscle. True or false? One is true. A brainiac means you're smart. So two is false. This is the happy squirrel, right? You don't think old McClue's a conductor, apart from on the buses? There we are. That's a great skill. False. Uh, one's false and three's false. Uh, one is false. Three is false. Two is true. This is meet the talkers. Hello, grandchildren from Vietnam. Dinky-doo. Quang is a grandfather in Vietnam. Yo, what's good, my guy? Dinky do. Three is false. So there we are. Two's false, I think, says Mr. BTT. Any more feedback, guys, on that one? True or false? Scotty McClure. Just for you. Have you all followed me, please, guys? Please do follow. Don't just go, ah, I'm not bothered with that. Do, please, do, 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 do. What's your zodiac sign? You've got to tell me, Nancy. Right, one is true. Two is true, three is false. Okay. One is false. Advice for people in the 20s, be yourself. Say to yourself, I can and I will. This is the moment and I am the one. Meet the talk says, Scotty, please write your autobiography. 
Meet the talkers, you should write it for me. Hey, hear, hear, three is true. Not because you're tubby, you're an excellent shape, Scotty, oh, absolutely. But, seriously, I am solid muscle, and I can't, there's my arm, and I can't get my hand round, look. There's my hand. You see what I mean? Incredibly, incredibly um, huge muscles. Are you rich? I'm perhaps the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. But I get to take talk to you lot, you see. I've got a pony in my pocket. Yeah, what's a pony and what's a monkey? I've never quite understood it. The guy said, I think you'd be talking a monkey there. I said, I, I, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> right, are we ready? One, sorry, three is true. Two is true. One is false. I did not own a shopping centre. My nose grew as I told you that. I apologise. I did conduct the Halley Orchestra as a guest conductor in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester every now. I was in a Grumman Yankee two-seater aircraft. We took off from Carlisle Airport, and the pilot said to me, wow, I feel a difference with you in her. I'll have to re-trim her just to get her straight and level. I said, is that a problem? Went, no, of course not. But he was having to fight the aircraft just to, to get her to, to square up because I was giving her the horse. <laughs> A pony in my pocket means £25 for the money in my pocket. Thank you very much. So there you are, Barry Barry. Dinky do, nighty night, everybody. Hello from Fraser from the Brock. Can I you? You have to pay the winners, Scotty. <laughs> I had a great time watching your live tonight. You cheered me up, Scotty. Dinky do. So there we are. Thank you very much, Lexix. So there we are. Brilliant, Scotty. Jimster, bless you all, Frank. A monkey's 500. Woo! It's about time I could do with a monkey, I'll tell you that. Fantastic. Guys, take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. Thank you so much for watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok. Please follow me. Watch all the videos. Send your uh, things and all the rest of it. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jim. You're on late tonight, Scotty. We are true, but I'm just disappearing to do everybody a favor. Scotty, gives a wee hello to Karen. So there we go. What have we got there? Oh, my goodness me. So there we are. Uh, we listened on the radio. Well, I think we'll be back on the radio again. Thank you, Scott. Have a great night. Thank you all. Good night. God bless. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheerio. Good night and God bless you, folks. Take great care of yourselves. And we'll all catch up again on TikTok Live ASAP. Sleep well. Dinky-doo.